First of the reminder shot straight down my spine. Stand up tall, linear, perfect. Servants bend over, they say. Cheaters, criminals, prostitutes, cavemen, underdeveloped and crabby, hoping the curve of their back will be enough to hide their shame. The tangible spear of their remonstrations still carves the space between my shoulder blades. When they looked at my pictures, they pointed at the space between my knees, asked me whether I wanted to be pretty or seductive, because if it's option one, I better keep my damn legs pressed together, steal all those sensual secrets tight until someone cares enough about them to take me on a date. The woman's body is a temple, and only the most devoted worshiper can catch a glimpse of this delicate divinity. I like to stuff my mouth full of food as much as my mom likes to remind me that I was born in the year of the pig, barely chewing before swallowing, tearing the last bits off chicken bone with teeth. Somehow my manners are dirty if I manage to wipe my plate clean. Why is it that the impoverished are allowed to appreciate their food, but girls sometimes must limit themselves to scraps? People have memorized the sound of my laugh, a raucous snort that echoes down corridors and bangs around eardrums. Instead of a giggle that tinkles like wind chimes, my chorto shakes the foundations of the earth. <laughs> Maybe I'm the first girl who'd rather be an almighty giant than a butterfly crumbling beneath its footstep. The world tells us that we belong on a silver platter, paraded in front of an audience as a symbol of grace. But it forgets to remind us that we are the suckling pig with the apple of expectations prying our mouths open and muffling our speech so that onlookers can descend and feast upon our vulnerability. No, I stand up straight because I am a soldier, chest up, belly in, a bow before I let my arrows fly, legs wide apart in the stance of a volleyball player before she scores the winning spike. No, I stand up straight because I am a warrior. I died from the banquet of champions, because you are what you eat, and I will never be a crumb, a piece, a slice that folds beneath the knife. No, I walk the world as a warrior. I stomp upon the ground with laughter that shoots through the skies. I rule this world with full mouth and parted thighs, not as a princess with books upon her head and vulnerable to be chastised. A woman's body should be her weapon, and her poise should be her power. We are all queens and now is our hour. Thank you.